These are the Bonneville Salt Flats, right there. When I first got here, I was disappointed. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I was expecting to go drag race the Jeep and go play and throw mud and salt and go and just have a good old time. And it's all flooded. <laughs> it is mid-November and it does happen November through like uh, March, I think I read. There's groundwater that seeps up and there's rainfall that kind of keeps it flooded. And the last thing I wanted to do was put the Jeep in salt water. There's other people driving their vehicles on the salt water. <laughs> I walked before and my feet were covered in salt so I'm not gonna do that to the Jeep I want to preserve the Jeep I don't want it to get all rusty so I kind of I missed that but the reflections the pictures it was just incredible I had some amazing shots I came here yesterday for sunset and it was just amazing and I was here again this morning for sunrise and it was incredible this is amazing if you look at the color behind me this sunrise is spectacular this is beautiful I'm glad it's flooded, the reflection, just how everything looks is just unbelievable. the color right now I'm using a polarizer filter to remove some of the glare in the sky and that bright reflection it just looks amazing very soft pinks uh, pastel colors it looks awesome These salt flats have been used for years and years for speed tests and just, uh, you know, just to see how fast you can go because they're perfectly flat and they go for miles and miles. I think I read it was 12 miles by 5 miles. So that's, that's a lot of terrain where you could really get going. When I was doing research, I came across some, some studies that show that at one point during the last uh, planetary climate change we had about 10,000 years ago with the Ice Age, this was a lake that was about a thousand feet deep. So think about that. Look at all the, I mean, this is open for miles and miles. And now think about it being a thousand feet deep. But to imagine this being a thousand, a thousand foot a deep lake, when you can see all the mountains all around, that, that's an incredible amount of water. And then as everything dried out, as you know, the glaciers uh, melted and all the water evaporated, that's how we get the, uh, the salt flats, all the minerals concentrated at the bottom, which is what made it, makes it perfectly flat and salty. <laughs> There's other minerals there, but it is very salty. Um, it's just amazing to believe that the planet, the climate changed 10,000 years ago. And now we left it with the playground. <laughs> The same uh, other researchers also suggest that we're still having come off the ice age, that we're, st we're still going in a cycle and that it's happened multiple times. So it's just something interesting to think about for me anyway. Yesterday I also went around and there's a floating island that I wanted to go visit. So we took the Jeep and went on, the, on a really bumpy road. <laughs> I'm surprised the Jeep didn't fall apart. It was just very bouncy. Oh.
fun. It was beautiful, but the Jeep took a beating. Uh, nothing fell apart. Everything's still in place and everything looks good. The mountains are really pretty. The sightseeing is beautiful. There's supposed to be a lot of wildlife on the island. The floating island it's called. And I, didn't, I saw like three birds. I didn't see anything. I don't know if it's the wrong time of day or wrong time of the year, but I didn't see anything out there. Right now I'm staying in Wendover. Uh, West Wendover actually. It's in the in the border. That's in Nevada. In the Nevada Utah border. And it's the last taste of Sin City you're gonna get <laughs> before you go into Utah. Sin City, for me. The corner, I'm to be. Trouble, trouble, in my way. I need to step up if I'm gonna stay. Yeah. I've been living here too long. It's time to move. I am going to be doing a series of Southwest videos here in the United States. I'm going to be going through Utah, Nevada, and Arizona. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get not notified every time I upload a video. It's usually every Sunday. And I think this is it. This is my first visit here. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please click that like button and we'll see you next week. Bye.